really great. They took the fascia off. And the amazing thing to me is as they're, you know, crowbarring and this and that, the bees completely ignored them. So they got everything opened up. And then there, were, there was this cavity with honeycomb in it, uh, which I have some great pictures. It's absolutely incredible. They take the honeycomb out. They put them in frames. The frames went in a bee box that's very similar to this one. Um, and they've actually vacuumed the bees. So they take the honeycomb out and they actually vacuum them. Let me see the vacuum. And once they get all the combs in the, the box, then the bees go back into the box and you're done. And the reason that this is still here is it's for all the bees that are coming back that have been out, you know, foraging. They, I think they have the queen in this one so that when they come back, they go into this box rather than going back into the house. And these are honeybees, right? These are honeybees. And I got some honey out of it. So they take all the honeycomb because the bees need the honey, but some of it won't fit into, you know, the frames. And there's kind of little pieces left over, so I have some honey. Let's go I'll see. show it to you. I'm trying to get back in. There's something really cool. So here's one. This is totally clean. You have to try it. This is totally clean, ready to go. Break off a little piece and try it. So this one's not as clean, but you see the white things yes. there and there? Those are um, pupa or larva. I don't know the exact, I don't know the exact term for it, but those are the bees that you know are coming out of the thing and, and growing for it. And the uh, the beekeeper will take the hive that's now relocated into the box and what? Now they have another hive. You know, oh. if you're a beekeeper and you have 30 hives, now you have 31.